Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Mateusz Nunes card to review today. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. Uh, so right off the bat for a midfielder, I am going to go ahead and give him... I could always do it in that actual menu thing, and I just never do it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and give him the shadow chemistry style to boost pace and defense as much as possible. Uh, taking into consideration that his dribbling is set up in a pretty decent area. Shooting is decent, passing is decent. So I think making him as good as possible defensively is going to be the key thing here. Because with these defensive boosts, he's going to be working with some very good stuff with 98 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. So if we take a look at the card over here, you guys can see that his defense will actually be in a pretty solid area except for defensive awareness at an 86. Uh, but everything else is going to be very, very nice considering the fact that he's six foot tall with an average body type. So right off the bat, guys, for me, it is a stay back while attacking center mid, right? Uh, because of the height, because of the body type. But obviously, he has really good shooting capabilities. So if we do get into those angles, we actually may be able to score some very good opportunities because he's got 93 attacking positioning, 86 for finishing, 89 for shot power. Base card stats for passing, very good for someone who has the four-star, four-star capability as well. Uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with in game because of the body type and height uh, that he does have defense again we will be experimenting with as well because we're going to be using the 442 tactic uh, to test him on the attack and defense uh, and then we're going to be using his physicality as much as possible right the fact that he has 86 strength to work with an average body type at six foot is nice but then he also has 91 stamina which is nice for the midfield position as well so with Mateos Nunes guard guys we're going to be using him in the 442 from Tom Lee. So I'm probably gonna be making a video on this formation um, at some point in the future, maybe today, depending on how many games we can get over here. Uh, but yeah, we'll be using him in the center mid position on stay back while attacking cover center. And uh, we'll take it from there, man. Hopefully he is a beast. Hey, to be fair, that pass was really good, and he does actually get himself quite involved in the attack with a 4-4-2 tactic. Oh, nice defensive play. Position well in that situation. Well done, Mateus. You know what? I'm enjoying this card so far in the midfield position. Like, defensively, he's performing well. Body type is great to work with in those areas. Yeah, he's like, he's enjoyable, man. I, like, I actually like him there. He offers a very good defensive presence. The height is great to work with. Yeah, dribbles really well under under pressure, too. I was going to say under composure, because the composure is like a big part of that, right? But high dribbling and stuff is definitely going to be very good in those areas. I'm going to commit him over here, actually. Oh, maybe an extra ball roll for the more consistent strike on power? Maybe. Oh, what? He didn't get that one? He went for an animation, but like let it go through? I don't know though, bro. Look, that happens sometimes even with the really good players, but that was really weird. Doesn't get the initial uh, interception there, but tall enough to get the second one, at least. Oh, it was a good pass, though. That was a double tap uh, lob pass as well. Nicely done. Positioned well for the uh, interception there. pressure a little bit of aggression there was nice good reach there oh Mateos had like a weird animation to get that ball in the air kind of like sluggish you know like oh again there team of the year Ruben Diaz just that's pretty good in the air, though. It's kind of like one of those things, you know? Oh, good pressure there, Mateos. 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs> I do not know. Uh, Mateos Nunez. Okay. It's so like, uh, maybe it's because it's low penalties. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm trying to hit like the, the middle left. You know what I'm saying? But. Oh, almost, man. It was going to register the skill move, but it was like, I don't know if I should do it. <laughs> Always has the heights for those interceptions right there. Mateos again, man. Like I said, if this guy is a stay back while attacking center mid, I could see him playing that role well. Nicely done again. Let's go, Mateos. Let's go, Mateos. Not even controlling him. Yep, yeah, just have to position him there for the interception again. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Mateos Nunes card. So, guys, uh, when it came to using him in game, we were using him in the 4-4-2. Um, I don't think it's his best position because what I will say about Mateos in game, guys, is that his defensive presence is decent, but it's not like the craziest, right? So cards like this, uh, because the base defense being set up the way that it is, you want to use them mainly in like a 4 one 2 and 2 formation, like the tactic video that I showed you guys, playing as the stay back while attacking a cover center player, because even when it comes to the shooting, right? So the shooting is obviously decent with a card like this, uh, but because he is six foot tall with an average body type, unless you have him on balanced instructions, you know, push up forward into the attack, you're not going to get a lot of shooting angles with this card because I don't think that's going to be his play style, right? I think his play style is going to be the guy that offers you a little bit of a defensive presence, a little bit of an attacking presence while being a tall player to work with that four star, four star capability, right? Uh, you can clearly see that we didn't really get that many shooting opportunities with him because he's just not that type of car because you got to dribble with him a certain way because of the fact he's a six foot tall player. Uh, the shooting is good. So if you do get into a situation with a card where you're using him on the balance instructions, then he'll obviously be decent at it. But in the meta of this game, you want players to be a little bit more responsive when around the 18 yard box. So players kind of like a, like an Awar is better to use in that way, right? But even Awar I use on stay back while attacking sometimes because his dribbling is actually nice to kind of work the space across the pitch, right? Uh, with Mateos, like I said, because he's not like the craziest defensively, like, but he's decent at it. It's more of a three midfield setup than it is a two midfield setup. Like for me personally, I prefer to use players that have the high, high work rates in that two midfield area. The only like medium, medium work rate of player that I really messed with in a two midfield setup is in Kunku. Once he hit like the 88 or 89 rating, uh, that's when I felt like he offered like a really good defensive presence and attacking presence. And I guess it's because of his body type and him being a little bit more agile on the pitch. Um, you know, which is, which is what I think made me like him the, the most, you know. Um, I do like this card for a gameplay objective because the thing is, is that the Liga Noj doesn't have that many, like, crazy good midfielders. So this is a very huge plus for a card uh, because of the links you can work with, right? So obviously, as a center mid, you can easily get the links between Ruben Vinagre, uh, Gonzalo Inacio, and get that triple link set up on the left side. So I love the concept of the card in regards to that. Uh, there's also strong links with him too, obviously with the Portuguese players. Pedro Porro gives him that link as well. Portuguese with Liga Noja and Gonzalo Ramos, right? So for me, I think that this gameplay objective uh, is a dub for this league because we don't really have the craziest meta player. So definitely a very nice card to get for this league and for the leagues that you have uh, links that he has to work with. If we take a look at the midfielders in this league for the Liga Noj. There's not really like a crazy amount to work with. I'm going to show you guys, right? I like what they did with the Liga Noj this year. It's, uh, it's very solid. Um, okay, so we'll search for cards that have decent defending. That's going to be the main thing here, right? So Mateo Soribe, who is a gameplay objective. Boom, you have that CDM in your team as well. You can put Mateo Nunes next to him and it'll actually work out well. But you can clearly see that there's no other option. 
right? From the League of Knows, there is no other option. And the fact that this card gives you the links that he does is really, really sick to work with. So, you know, if you want to line up in a two midfield setup with him or Uribe, for fun, you definitely could, because like I said, he's not terrible to use in a two midfield setup, but he's, you could tell that he's mainly a card you should use in a three midfield setup, because I'd probably do something with like, um, Mateo Soribe, Nunes, and then I'd probably put like uh, Renato Sanchez next to him, like just something like that, or a Jelson Martins or something, you know, because with Mateos, I can play him on the right side, get that Portuguese link, and then get Pedro Poro, and then I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of good stuff you can work with for a card that's definitely very cool for what it is. Uh, what he reminds me a lot of actually is... He reminds me a lot of the uh, Chalaba CDM card, right? But with Chalaba, I do feel like he defends a little bit better. Again, not as crazy, but he is a six foot three player with a high and average plus body type. So on the shadow chemistry style, this card is actually pretty solid to use for what it is, right? It's just one of those types of situations where, again, I like the gameplay objective for what it is because it gives you uh, very, very cool links to work with. The card is actually not that bad. Um, I wish he was a little bit better defensively. I wish he had different work rates, but that's like being really nitpicky with cards like this, right? So, um, yeah, definitely a cool gameplay objective. I like that EA released them. We don't have much to work with in the League of Noj, so definitely a very cool card uh, released in general. So, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If if I if it was up to me, guys, give him a Shadow Chemistry style because I feel like his dribbling is good enough to work with his six foot height and average body type. We just kind of have to use him a little bit more uh, defensive-oriented. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.